Looking for the best motherboard for your Intel Core i9-14900KS? The i9-14900KS is Intel's top processor. It's a binned i9-14900K that breaks 6 GHz clock speed, achieving the fastest single-threaded performance of any CPU, and pairing it with the right motherboard is key to unlocking its full potential. In this video, I'll break down my top three motherboard recommendations. Each one is tailored to different needs and budgets. The first option focuses on delivering excellent performance without breaking the bank. The second one is a premium choice, offering top-notch features and the best overclocking capabilities for enthusiasts. And the last one combines exceptional power delivery and advanced features, making it the ultimate choice for high-end builds. Price information is available in the description, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. So let's get started. Number 3. MSI MAG Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi – Best Budget Motherboard for i9-14900KS while the Core i9-14900KS is currently the top Intel processor, you don't necessarily need to pair it with an ultra-expensive motherboard in order to maximize its potential. There are some motherboards on the market that focus on providing the best value for money. The MSI MAG Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is one such board that can be paired even with the i9-14900KS to create a competent pairing without breaking the bank. The Z790 Tomahawk is part of a series that's known for its reliability and robust power delivery. Thanks to the 16 plus 1 plus 1 phase VRM design, that trend carries on in the Z790 version of the Tomahawk. This power delivery setup is an excellent choice for the i9-14900KS and can even handle the flagship CPU at overclocked settings. One quick glance at the board also reveals that MSI has opted to install sizable VRM heatsinks on this particular board to improve the VRM performance and longevity. The cooling solution for the VRM and the chipset is quite acceptable and doesn't present any problems, even when overclocking. MSI is not the only player in the space, however. The Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX comes in at roughly the same price as the Tomahawk and can be another option to consider. However, I prefer the Z790 Tomahawk thanks to its superb power delivery system and versatile feature set at this price point. When it comes to features, it doesn't leave a lot to be desired in this department. I have chosen the DDR5 variant of the board in this roundup, since DDR5 prices have become more affordable lately, and it doesn't make sense to build a PC with a CPU like the 14900KS and pair it with DDR4 just to save a few bucks. The overall networking and connectivity features align with what we expect from a modern Z790 motherboard. MSI has gone the extra mile in the storage department, however, and included four M2 slots with seven SATA ports. This is ideal for someone who wants to connect a lot of storage drives to the motherboard, such as in a home server. Aesthetically, the Tomahawk is a bit dull and uninspiring. There's no RGB lighting on the motherboard, and the overall look of the board lacks a bit of personality. MSI has gone with a very stealthy look on this particular motherboard, and it may be a polarizing choice. Still, the all-black look is quite popular nowadays, and it doesn't clash with any PC components, no matter the color or lighting. Of course, the Z790 Tomahawk shines above the rest when it comes to the value proposition. You can also consider the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus at this price point, but the Tomahawk holds superiority over the former thanks to its amazing feature set and robust power delivery. Overall, MSI Z790 Tomahawk is ideal for those users who want a great value-oriented motherboard to pair with their flagship Core i9-14900KS processor. Ratings? VRM Design – 8.5 out of 10 Features – 8 out of 10 Aesthetics – 7.5 out of 10 Value for Money – 9 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8.25 out of 10. Number 2. Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Formula – Best Premium Motherboard for i9-14900KS 
Asus has a history of making some of the best motherboards for immense overclocking, and if there's one motherboard that can let the 14900KS run wild, it's the ROG Maximus Z790 formula. By far the single greatest feature of the Z790 formula is the VRM design. It's an ultra-powerful 20 plus 1 plus 2 phase 105 amp design that uses high-quality capacitors that are rated to run at 10,000 hours. On top of that, what else makes the Z790 formula stand out from the rest is the hybrid chill VRM cooler that's perfect for both passive and active cooling. Usually, VRMs with a hybrid cooling system aren't that good unless you use a water loop to actively cool them. Thankfully, the hybrid chill system is excellent whether you actively cool the VRMs with a liquid coolant or not. Without any active cooling, the VRMs only heat up to 50 degrees Celsius and peak out at around 55 degrees Celsius with a Core i9-14900KS running at 6 GHz for an hour or more. When water-cooled, the same VRMs stay much cooler indefinitely and almost never even hit 50 degrees Celsius. The heat sinks on the entire motherboard are covered by a white shield that's perfect for any white build, especially if it has a custom water loop. Not only is the front of the board covered in white, the back also has heat sinks and a protective cover to prevent rear-ended damages and help with extra cooling. The black PCB with white heatsink covers makes the Z790 formula one of the most gorgeous motherboards ever. The aesthetics and VRMs of the Z790 formula are certainly impressive, but a motherboard is nothing without good connectivity. The rear I.O. is chock full of USB ports and every single one of them is running at USB 3.2 or faster speeds. Two of the three USB Type-C ports are Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is awesome to see. You also get a full array of audio jacks, including an optical SPDIF port, BIOS flash, and CMOS clear buttons. The motherboard also supports Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4, and the antenna has a new design as well. It doesn't need to be screwed in, you can simply push it in the antenna port and it will click on to the motherboard. Asus hasn't made many motherboards in their formula lineup, but I hope this changes soon, because there's some serious potential here. That being said, even though it's amazing, it's not perfect. There is a lack of PCIe slots, and generally the PCIe situation is a little messy. There are just two full-sized Gen 5x16 slots, and a single Gen 4x4 slot at the bottom. While I appreciate that there are 5 M2 slots, I highly doubt that anyone is going to put that many SSDs even in a high-end workstation. In conclusion, the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 formula isn't just for gaming. It's an all-rounder motherboard with a powerful VRM that stays cool no matter if it's actively or passively cooled. It's just the right choice for anyone looking to invest in an enthusiast board that allows extreme overclocking as well as having all the necessary connectivity for a professional-grade workstation. Ratings. VRM design, 9.75 out of 10. Features, 8.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 7.5 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 1. Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master, our top choice. The Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master offers a remarkable power delivery system and exceptional features that make it a powerhouse and ideal for premium builds with the i9-14900KS. While it has a high price tag, it's worth every penny for those who are looking for top-tier performance. One of the most impressive features of the motherboard is its VRM setup, which boasts a remarkable 23-phase architecture. Of these 23 phases, 20 are devoted to providing clean and reliable power to the CPU. Each phase provides 105 amps directly to the CPU, ensuring that even the i9-14900KS can be overclocked with ease. 
Moreover, the VRM components are effectively cooled with multiple heat sinks, which means the temperatures won't ever be a problem, even when running an overclocked i9-14900KS on a day-to-day -day basis. This makes the Z790 Aorus Master an excellent choice for gamers and enthusiasts who want to push their systems to the limit without having to worry about overheating issues. Apart from its potent power delivery system, the Z790 Aorus Master also offers an extensive feature set that caters to the needs of gamers and creative professionals alike. The DDR5 model works seamlessly with the latest Intel processors and supports DDR5 memory up to 8000 megatransfers per second. It features four M2 slots, a host of high-speed USB ports, and support for up to six SATA drives for your storage devices. Networking is a standout feature of this board, as it includes a 10 gigabit LAN port for wired connections, as well as the Wi-Fi 6E standard for reliable wireless networking. The Marvel 10 gigabit LAN is a great contributor to the board's overall capability and versatility, making it the perfect choice for enthusiasts and professionals. The absence of an HDMI output on the rear I.O. may be a minor inconvenience, but it's not a deal breaker, especially considering the other features that this motherboard has to offer. You can find the Asus ROG Strix Z790E at the same price point, but I prefer the Aorus Master due to its overclocking potential and superior networking features. In terms of appearance, the Z790 Aorus Master has a sleek and contemporary design with a simple layout, attractive lighting, and a neutral color scheme. The RGB lighting is skillfully implemented, and the overall appearance of this board is quite modern and attractive. At the end of the day, Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master is undoubtedly one of the very best high-end motherboards to pair with the Intel Core i9-14900KS. So, if you're looking for a top-tier motherboard that can deliver exceptional performance and reliability, the Z790 Aorus Master is the one to get. Ratings. VRM design, 9.5 out of 10. Features, 9.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. So, what do you think? Which of these is the best motherboard for you? Or do you think another motherboard is better for the i9-14900KS? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.